Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here. Today I'll be unboxing, reviewing, and demoing the RCF Evox 12. This speaker has been on the market for a while. I made another video where I said why I purchased this one over the Maui 44 G2. I'll have a link in the description below where you can check that out. And I'll have a shootout between this and a point source system and the Evol 50 in another video. One of the reasons I decided to get one of these is because I wanted a white speaker. I know that it's kind of controversial. I just kind of on a whim decided to get one. So here we go. Let's go out and unbox this thing and check it out. It's slightly ironic that I got this for its portability and it arrived on a giant freight pallet. So let's go ahead and start with the top. And this box is stapled together, so it is not easy to open. All right, here's my column top. Pretty hefty. And here is my pole. Comes with this nice case. And the poles are nicely wrapped. One of the nice things with the speaker is that it has an adjustable height. So you have two pole sections. So if you want it to be really tall, and I've even seen people use just one if they don't want it to be too tall. But it's cool you have the flexibility. As well as a speak on cable and these cable clip organizer things. All right, and then here's my subwoofer. And here's my subwoofer. And the box containing the subwoofer includes a PowerCon cable. Hey, why is it not white? A manual full of case candy, including a two year warranty. This column array supports some impressive specs at 1400 watts, 130 SPL, a 15 inch subwoofer, eight four inch neodymium full range speakers, has a very nice wide coverage and it's pretty compact to 80 pounds for both the sub and top and you can pick this up in black or white. So yeah, let's take a look. So this is the subwoofer. Yeah, it's pretty big, it's pretty tall. This fits inside the cabin of a Subaru Outback without too much trouble. And the cabin of a Subaru Outback is notoriously short. It has a pickup handle here as well as a threaded insert to put like the pole. So you can just take your pole and screw it in like that, pretty easy. Then on the side here, it has like these handles and they're black and white, so very luxurious look. Of course, you see the Evox branding right here. So pretty easy to pick up on the sides. This is a power out so that you can connect the subwoofer to the top. And there is like the onboard mixer. So it has like one input in and one output, a volume. You can choose whether the input sensitivity is line or mic. The mic is gonna give it a little bit of a boost of gain. And then you can choose whether to have like a flat response with this button or boost it. So I'm thinking that's like a bass boost. Of course, you got like your Evox 12 branding right here. And even have the RCF logo branded right in this heat sink. And then you have your on and off switch right here, as well as your PowerCon in. And of course you see like these suitcase looking wheels with a suitcase handle. All right, here's the telescoping handle. Probably needs a little bit of WD-40. And I really like this design because most subwoofers of this size have like casters, but casters are ugly and they take up a ton of room. And this system is way more low profile, so. So kudos to RCF with this really nice design. These clips just go on like this. We'll put one right here, we'll put one on the bottom. One right here, one on the bottom. Go ahead and screw this in. I have this at its lowest setting so that it will fit in frame of my camera. I'm actually gonna raise it up a little bit. The top is pretty hefty and there's no handles on it, which is pretty noticeable. So I think that makes it about as tall as like the Evol 50. I think one more would make it as tall as the Evol 50. There we go. They make white versions of these cables. I might get one. They jack up the price because then if you're like this invested in a speaker system that's white, you're gonna spend like two more. You plug this in, twist it. Same with the bottom. Included are like these cable clips. So we can do one right here. And then there you go. All right, it's nice because you can adjust the height of the pole. I think just the single pole is good enough for most weddings. I mean, I'm six foot four. So this is seven feet tall at the third hole in the pole. It feels kind of mandatory when I'm reviewing a speaker to add a sound test, 
but I feel like a sound test is only so useful when I'm making a video like this and putting it on YouTube, so I highly recommend that you hear it in person. <laughs> Guys, the sound is incredible and it can get quite loud. That 15 inch sub, man, it has a really nice thump to it. I'm still really impressed how portable this thing is. Yeah, overall, I think that this thing is pretty awesome. I like that I'll be able to like twist the top for different parts of the night. On the dance floor during the dancing portion and during speeches, I can like twist it towards like different parts of the room. And yeah, this thing is loud. I love it. I'm super excited to be using it and it looks super nice and white, very luxurious. I love it. Especially with this black backdrop, it just really stands out. And if you're trying to blend in, most wedding venues are going to have like white walls. So this will be perfect for that. But for this video, it stands out, which is what I want. <laughs> if you're going to invest this much in a speaker system, I highly recommend that you get a padded cover. I think it's kind of silly that they sell these speaker systems for so much money and they don't include the case up front. I'll have a link to these in the description below, but I highly recommend that you get yourself a pair. It has several openings that are Velcroed shut, so you can access the handle right here, and there's one right here so that you can lift this up like a suitcase. It has an opening on each side right here, so you can lift it up that way. Overall, pretty robust, and these cases seem very rugged. Overall, yeah, this is a great speaker. And I feel like the real performance test will be using this at a real gig. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please smash like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.